can't believe it's been 10 weeks that I've been doing this. 10 straight weeks. Thank you for all the comments, the likes, the subscribes, the views. Last week is probably one of the one of my favorite videos. Took a little bit of a day off on a Sunday. Fed some koi. Did a little bit of guerrilla filming. Paramore hates me. Um, went out for Sunday, Chinese buffet. And, hi Lou. And uh, neglected to realize that pawn shops are closed on Sundays. So, had to go back out on Monday. So I filmed at Newberry Comics, and I was going to get, um, was it True Blood, and, uh, what did I have, Two Guns? The Steelbook, yeah. And, what was this? We haven't even seen the movie. Third thing, Dark Shadows? Yeah. Um, then I decided not to, and I, instead, this is what I picked up in Newberry, Whisper of the Heart. This was twenty dollars, you know. All this studio Ghibli stuff's pretty pricey. Um, I asked the girl at the counter if they had Kiki's on Blu-ray, and she's like, "Well, I don't think any of that is on Blu-ray." And I was like, "Oh, okay. Then I don't. What? Yeah, okay." <laughs> so then I realized that I've been to three different FYEs. So this was the first one that. Is also in that mall. Picked up Best Picture Collection, English Patient, Shakespeare in Love, Chicago, The King's Speech. This was less than eight dollars, so I, that's a great deal for those four movies on Blu-ray. They also had Friday the Thirteenth, the third season, the final season. Um, I think I'm gonna have to get the the others on Amazon because I've already checked a bunch of stores and couldn't find seasons one and two and then picked up Wrestlemania 4 this is the last Wrestlemania I need um, I am gonna go back and get some some of the later Wrestlemanias on the DVD but that's me finishing the Wrestlemanias finally and the next day went out to a pawn shop and they had Beauty and the Beast Blu-ray. So, and I believe this is in the vault, so I was glad to grab that. Also, the Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Halloween 5 and Halloween 6. So I need 3, 4... H2O and Resurrection. And then uh, this might actually be the first Blu ray ever made. I'm pretty sure this came packaged with the PlayStation 3. <laughs> uh, Talladega Tal Nights, Tale of Ricky Bobby. And the last thing I picked up at that pawn shop was The Office Season 3. Then while I was out, went to Big Lots, so Feast for $5, haven't seen it, but um, you know it's horror, so I'm pretty sure I'll enjoy it. It's a Project Greenlight, right? Yeah. That's why they're so, those producers? Mm-hmm. Cool. Pubert? Pubert. Pubert Wolves. name. Adam's Family Values, need to get... The first one, but I, I like the sequel more. Complete series of the event. I think this should have had a longer run. I really enjoyed that along with like Flash Forward. I think got cancelled too early. And the reason I went to Big Lots, they only had one. That's the Hangover Part 2 Steelbook. Playing on the inside. Um, it's seen better days. It's got big dent there. I don't know if you can see. Um, a couple of dents, like, right there. But, uh, it's fine. I'm not gonna put it in plastic or anything crazy like that. So, they only had one. I was glad to get that. Then, these two cheap pickups at a 
part one video. What did you think of uh, Gatsby? Ah, uh, it's cool. It's the only uh, Baz Luhrmann movie that I didn't have yet. I'm not crazy about the big rental thing at the bottom, but no. what three dollars ninety cents? And port one, if you get a bad copy, they'll return it. I think they're just in New England. They're like a red box kind of thing, but more local. Um, but good, good deals on used movies. And they're almost always in great condition. Place behind the pines. I'm looking forward to seeing this. I'm probably, you know, if I watch it and like it, I'll end up upgrading to Blu-ray. But wanted to. Hey, how you doing, Spike? So this was the second FYE that I went to this week. Um, I don't know if I've told the complete story of how I ended up pre-ordering Frozen, so I'll do it now. Um, a while back I went to FYE and traded a bunch of stuff in, and I guess they had a... It was a deal where if you used some of that credit to a pre-order, you got more money, um... So I thought the guy was asking if I'd seen Catching Fire Frozen, and I had seen Catching Fire, so I was like, oh yeah, Catching Fire. And um, I had already pre-ordered Catching Fire at Best Buy because it was on Steelbook, so I ended up having an extra Catching Fire pre-ordered at FYE, which I didn't want, and I went back the next day and was like, yeah, I really don't want this. And then was, he explained how it was part of you know this promotion, so I, I couldn't do anything with it. So that's when I had the idea of um, that being my first giveaway, was I was going to give away the second copy of Catching Fire I had, but then I ended up thinking it'd be much cooler to give away a steelbook, and so I used the, he allowed me to use the five dollars that I had on Catching Fire and transfer it over to Frozen, so Frozen only ended up costing me thirteen dollars, plus there's a six dollar rebate. So, I mean, I'm very pleased with that. So that's the full story of how I ended up pre-ordering Frozen and having Catching Fire uh, uh, line. Giveaway? <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> um, if I use back to having uh, used buy one, get one, half off, so, picked up X2, and then this was brand new. I mean, it was used, but it's it's still wrapped, and that's season 8 of Weed, so I just need season 7. So, and also at FYE, they, um, if you buy two WWE items, you get a Daniel Bryan foam finger, so I needed this, Andre the Giant, and picked up the new release signature sounds. I'm probably gonna put this in a black case, even though the white is kind of pimp. It's gonna stand out, you know, with all my other WWEs, because none of them have colored cases or white or you know they're all black, so it's gonna look kind of weird with the collection. And then just about ready to leave Fye, and I needed this, and they had like three or four of them. One of them was March 1999. The others were marked twelve ninety nine, and I just, they have these things where you can check the prices and it was $5. And I went up to the counter and was like, is this really $5? And he's like, yeah, so awesome to get that. Really wanted it. Hoping to watch it again soon. And that's Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Uh, I'll show this next. This got at a comic book store. That was like a dollar. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. And they have these cool um, Funko, you know, horror classics. There's Freddy and Hannibal and Leatherface and Chucky and, and all the guys. They all float down the air. <laughs> so, could not. Could not. This is exactly how I opened it, and I knew right away who it was. That's the puppet Billy from Saw. And I was so happy because if there was any one of these that I wanted the most, I mean, they're all prizes. They're all great. They're all tops. And this is the one I would have wanted the most. 
and I looked at the package, and he's one in seventy-two. Stop moving it! Stop moving it! No, if I move it more, it'll focus quicker. Is not that how technology works? No, it's not going to focus. Just take our word for it. It's a thing. No, stop if I move it. <laughs> if it just... Look at the guy. Isn't okay. he cute? Look at that guy. Isn't he cute? <laughs> <laughs> he was actually just turning upside down. Come on. Hang on. Kitty break. Hi. Hi. Oh. Sorry for that intermission. I'm easily and highly distracted by kitties. So moving on. Target. Um, all of their $5 movies were $4. So I picked up Groundhog Day. Finally. Classic movie. Written, directed by Harold Ramis. It's brilliant. Been on a Scooby Doo kick, so I picked up Scooby Doo and the Pirates, which has three pirate. Are you sorry? Yeah. You got a lot of Scooby Doo this week. And Scooby Doo and the Vampires. Three vampire themed episodes, and this I think was six dollars, but you were looking for it because uh, the commentary track is supposed to be hilarious because I guess everybody realized they didn't actually care about what they were doing and just kind of goofed off the whole time. So, I am eager to listen to that. Well, this would be the third FYE I went to pick that up for my friend Eric over in the UK. Ready to rumble. It's actually... It was in that, um... Those were those, the snap cases. Snap case. And someone put it in a case. Oh, that's fine, Eric. Um, this is out of print. It's kind of hard to find. But that was like two dollars because I had also picked up Payback on Blu-ray. Um, I was at an FYE because Wade Barrett was signing. So because Wade Barrett was there, they were allowed to sell Elimination Chamber early. So I picked that up. Um, I wasn't going to get any pay-per-views from this year because the they're going to be on the network, and Batista won the Rumble, and it's all crap. But, um, yeah, I don't know. The lady who was there was so nice, and they had a lot of these, and they were really pushing it. And because she was so helpful to me, I said, you know what, yeah, I'll get it. So, I've got to get the Rumble from this year. <sighs> Not looking forward to that, though. Went to Walmart. These are Walmart pickups. Got this two-pack. Um... This is the WrestleMania that I went to, so I wanted to have it on DVD. This is for trade. It's it's new. I'm looking to get um, the three disc DVD of WrestleMania 27 or 26. You know, simple. If you have one of those, I'll trade you that. And I don't know what you're talking about, Scooby Doo. Scooby-Doo WrestleMania mystery. This is exactly why I've been on a Scooby-Doo kick, so I, I can't watch this without watching all the other Scooby-Doo because I'm not going to know what's going on. Yeah, there's there's no continuity with Scooby-Doo. It's Scooby-Doo. I'm a joke. The same thing happens every episode. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I still have Zombie Island, so I, I obviously don't have enough Scooby-Doo. Why are you shaking your head? <laughs> Go, they're calling. I can't see anymore. That's a lot of stuff for one week. Commentary track. And I will leave you with the sweet sounds of Spike giving himself a bath. Has this been on audio the whole time, you think? I don't think it's going to have picked it up. I think he might have been saved, that sound. Monkey. Hi, Tom. 
はい、こんにちは。今。今。ほ、ポアガイ。はい。はい。I know me DVD.